Hi boys and girls, we have been learning about digraphs. What is a digraph? Digraphs are when two letters come together to make one sound. And today we're going to learn another digraph. Today we're going to talk about this digraph. The letters W and H come together to make one sound that you can probably guess the sound they make when they come together is the sound w, which is the same as the W by itself. The only difference is we don't hear the H when these two letters come together. So they make the sound w, and when I make that sound, I put my hands on my cheeks so I can feel my cheeks moving, and I say the sound like this, w. Can you do that with me? W. And let's do it three times together. Here we go. W-H says w. W-H says w. W-H says w. Great job, boys and girls. Okay, let's take a look at a few pictures that start with the sound w and the two letters W and H. The first picture is a big whale. The word whale starts with the letters W, H, and you can hear that sound at the beginning of the word whale. Okay, here we go, let's see. Oh, this is a wheel. I'm sure you've seen a wheel on your bicycle. There are wheels everywhere. And the word wheel also starts with the sound w. And it uses those two letters, W-H, to make that sound. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a white crayon. And the word white, the color white, starts with the two letters, W-H. Next time you're holding a white crayon, you can take a look and, and look at the word, and you'll see that it starts with these two letters, a W and an H. Okay, I have one more picture for you. Let me bring it up. The next picture is a whistle. And the word whistle also starts with the sound w. And it needs these two letters, W-H, to make the word whistle. Okay, it's time to pick a word and write a sentence. So let me go head on over to my writing paper. There it is right here okay and up at the top you can see the word that i want us to practice today take a look at that word take a look at the picture and tell me what you think what word is that what word is this this is the word white and that picture there should be a, a hint to you to tell you what word that is so today we're going to write a sentence using the word white now, I don't know about you, but when I open a new crayon box, I get very excited about using all the different colors. But the one crayon that I never use is the white crayon. So my sentence today is going to be, I do not use my white crayon. How do you like that sentence? Let me say that again. I do not use my white crayon. Seven words in that sentence. Let me say it again, and this time I'm going to write lines as I say the sentence to help me remember how many words are in my sentence. Here we go. I do not use my white crayon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines in that sentence. Okay, let me go ahead and start writing my sentence. Let me pick my color. You know I like to pick my color. Oh, today I'll pick my favorite color. Many of you know that my favorite color is the color purple, so that's what I'll use today. I wish I could use white, but then you wouldn't be able to see what I'm writing. Okay, here we go. I do not. I... And I always start my sentence with a capital letter, an uppercase letter. Do. Boys and girls, that's a sight word. Try to remember how to spell the word do. D-O. There it is. 
I do not. Not is a word that we can segment. That means we can hear the three sounds in that word, three sounds. Everybody say not. Now segment it. N-a-t. Not. Good. Now I just have to write those sounds. N-a-t. There it is. I do not use. Boys and girls, use is not one of our sight words. What we have to do is stretch out that word, use, use. The sounds that we hear in that word are a Y, 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 oo, o, o, and one more letter, the letter S, use, use. This is what the word looks like. And if you write your word like that, that is perfectly fine because you are stretching out your sounds and that makes me very happy. But it's not the correct way to write that word. Can I show you the real way to write the word use? I wanna show you the real way. U-S-E. That's how we really write the word use. So if you're writing the same sentence as me, you can copy the way that I wrote it. I'm not done. I still have three more words left. I do not use my. Is my a sight word? Yes, it is. M-Y. We all know that word. I do not use my white. <gasps> Here's the word that we're trying to write a sentence about. I can copy that word from the top of my paper. W-H-I-T. E spells the word white. And notice how my my word starts with those two letters, W-H. I have one word left. What is that last word? Crayon. It's crayon. So here I'm going to write the word crayon. If you're not sure how to write the word crayon, one thing you could do is go get a crayon and look at the crayon and copy the letters you see on the word crayon. Cray, a, 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 y makes that sound a. Crayon, o, n, on, crayon, there it is. Did I forget something? You're right, I forgot a period. Let me add my period. Okay, boys and girls, let me go back and reread my sentence. For my rereading today, I will use the color, let's see, light blue. There we go. Okay, here we go. I do not use my white crayon. Does that sound good? Yes. Does it make sense? Yes. And does it look right? Yes, it does. I have spaces. I started with a capital letter. My sentence is beautiful. Now it's your turn. You don't need a special paper for this activity. Go find a blank piece of paper or a notebook, take out a pencil, and write a sentence using the word white. Bye, boys and girls.